Hello everyone, today in this video we are going to learn how to divide polynomials or division of polynomials. So in this video we will be solving two examples. So let's start with the steps involved in division of polynomials. The first step in dividing polynomials is to arrange the terms of the dividend and the divisor in decreasing order of their degrees. You must be knowing that the degree of the polynomial is the highest power of the polynomial. So here for this polynomial the degree is 3 and for this polynomial the degree is 2. The highest power is called the degree. Here we have 3, 2, 1. Similarly for the second polynomial it is 2, 1. So we have to first arrange the polynomial in the decreasing order of their degree. The second step is to divide the first term which is x cube here in this case of the dividend by the divisor. So we need to divide x cube by this whole dividend. Third step is to multiply the divisor with the term required to get the term in the dividend. So here we have x square and we need to divide x cube. For getting x cube we need to multiply x square by x. We will multiply this whole polynomial by x. So here we will do the third step which is x square plus x plus 1 multiply by x. So we will get x cube plus x square plus x. So this is the term we are going to subtract from the dividend. x cube plus x square term will come under the x square term and x term will come under the x term. Now as this is a subtraction, we are going to change the signs first. So, so this will be minus, this is minus, this is minus. So x cube minus x cube will get cancelled here. Minus 6 square minus x square. Minus and minus, so we will add the two numbers. So this will be minus 7x square and 11x minus x will give us plus 10x and the rest of the terms we have to write as is and our quotient is x sorry I forgot to write the quotient the quotient is x the next step is the same as the second step where we have to multiply the divisor with such a number so that we can get the first term in the dividend here our new dividend is minus 7x square plus 10x minus 6 we need negative 7x square from x square. So we will multiply it by negative 7. We are going to multiply x square plus x plus 1 times negative 7. So this will give us negative 7x square, negative 7x, negative 7. We will write the term here. Minus 7x square, minus 7x, minus 7. As we are subtracting, we are going to change the signs minus 7x square and plus 7x square will get cancelled. 10x plus 7x will be 17x and 7 minus 6 will be plus 1. Now we see that we are getting a polynomial whose degree is less than the degree of the divisor. So whenever we are going to get the remainder whose degree is less than the divisor, we are going to stop the division there. Now this is our remainder and our quotient is x minus 7. So we will write the quotient as x minus 7 and remainder is 17x plus 7. So this is our final answer. Now we will revise the steps here and then we will do the second example. In the first step we are going to arrange the polynomials in decreasing order of their degree. The second step is to divide only the first term of the dividend. For that we are going to multiply the polynomial in the divisor with the required term or number and subtract the resultant from the dividend. And then we are going to repeat the process until we get a zero remainder or a remainder whose degree less than the degree of the divisor. I want to emphasize one more thing here that in dividing polynomials when you multiply the terms with the polynomial you should take care of the signs of the polynomials too. So let us do one more example to keep these things in mind. So this is our second example. In our second example we will first do the first step which is arranging the terms in the decreasing order of their degrees. 
so here we have x to the power 4 there is no x cube term so we can write it as 0 x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 divided by x square minus x plus 1. Now we will start dividing. So this is x square minus x plus 1. Dividend is x to the power 4 plus 0x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5. In place of this 0x cube, we can even write 0 because 0 times anything is 0. But we are writing it x cube so that it is easy for us to see that these are arranged in decreasing order. Now the second step is to divide the first term which is x to the power 4 by the first term of the divisor which is x square. For that we need to multiply x square by x square. So we are going to multiply the whole divisor with x square. So this will be x to the power 4 minus x cube plus x square. x to the power 4 minus x cube plus x square. As we are subtracting, we are going to change the signs. Now x to the power 4 minus x to the power 4 gets cancelled. 0 plus x cube will be x cube. Minus 3x square and minus x square will be minus 4x square. And the rest of the terms will be the same. Quotient is x square. Now we got a new dividend and we are going to repeat the same process until we get remainder as 0 or the degree of the remainder is less than the divide. To get x cube, we need to multiply the divisor by x. The signs of both the divisor and dividend are positive. So we are going to multiply it by positive x. Here we are going to multiply it. Times x is x cube minus x square plus x. x cube minus x square plus x. We are going to change the signs as we are subtracting the two numbers x cube and x cube gets cancelled. So this is minus 4x square plus x square. So minus 4x square plus x square will be minus 3x square and plus 4x minus x is plus 3x and the constant is plus 5. This is our new dividend. Now we need to get minus 3x square. For that we need to multiply x square by minus 3 our quotient will be minus 3. Let's multiply minus 3 here. So this is going to be minus 3x square plus minus 3 times minus x will be plus 3x and minus 3 plus 1 will be minus 3. So this is the term we need to subtract minus 3x square plus 3x minus 3. We are going to change the signs. So minus 3x square and plus 3x square will get cancelled. 3x and minus 3x will also get cancelled. And we are left with plus 5 plus 3 which is equal to 8. The quotient for this division is x square plus x minus 3 and remainder is 8. This is our final answer. So this is how you can divide polynomials. Let us revise the steps. The first step is to arrange the terms of the dividend and divisor in decreasing order of their degrees. The second step is to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor to obtain the first term of the quotient. The third step is to multiply all the terms of the divisor by the quotient and subtract the resultant from the dividend. Fourth step is to repeat the method with the new dividend until you get remainder as 0 or the degree of the remainder is less than the divisor. So I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.